Good evening. I am Buddy Parker and I'm the proud principal of Western School of Technology and Environmental Science, a Maryland and National Blue Ribbon School of Excellence. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Western Tech, I would like to personally welcome you to our Senior Award Assembly for the Class of 2020. Although I know we would much rather be in our gym this evening for this ceremony, it is important for us to take time to highlight the many individual accomplishments of this fine group of seniors. As you have heard me say in the past, when students, family members, and faculty and staff work together, great outcomes occur for young people. Tonight is a testament to this collaborative spirit, so I'd like to extend a big thank you to all the students who are getting an award tonight. Thank you for striving to be your best, but also thank you for always supporting one another. To family members, thank you for your support of your son or daughter over these past four years. Your support has been invaluable. And finally, to the faculty and staff, thank you for providing these students with the necessary academic foundation for them to pursue their dreams after high school. Seniors, enjoy this evening. You deserve it. Congratulations to each of you and best of luck to you in the future. Congratulations, Antu, for your outstanding work in AP Art. It has been an absolute pleasure being your art teacher for the past three years. You've always been an inspiring spirit in and outside of the art room. Thank you for being an outstanding student aid and always listening to my artistic advice. I cannot wait to see you take over the world. Great work and good luck on your new adventures. Congratulations, Helena, on the AVID Award. AVID stands for Advancement Via Individual Determination. You have displayed that determination in everything that you do this year. I've seen it in AVID, I've seen it in your other classes, and I just see it in your personality. You're gonna do great things at Towson, and I wish you much luck and success as you continue on your journey. It is with great pleasure that I nominate this year's Bibliophile Award winners. This year, there are two outstanding students who have been instrumental in so many things um, in our library, but also who are just outstanding students who read a tremendous amount. They have Goodreads lists of hundreds of things that they have both read and plan to read. We've had many conversations about what is good and what they like and what they don't like. And it has been a pleasure to have these conversations with you and to hear you working with other students and sharing your love of reading with our school community. So thank you both for your tremendous efforts this year. Fien as my student intern and Fallon as my student aide. Um, our nonfiction November was a great success as was the genrefication project that we took on in the library. I hope that both of you will keep reading and keep sharing your love of reading and congratulations on being our award winners. Greetings, class of 2020 for Western Tech. This is Mr. Renault here, and I am here to proudly present the outstanding engineering students looking at our senior class. And for me, it was uh, quite a challenge. And actually, I picked uh, two people for this award, uh, Antu Lee as well as Dime William. Uh, Antu was in our engineering principles and applications class in her freshman year, which was my first year of teaching. And I noticed right away her attention to detail in our class. She was instrumental in developing our engineering club, which met after school as well as during club day. She was president for two years. And she stepped up to that role of presidency and did an extraordinary job. She has many very good attributes of a natural leader. She's willing to take on responsibilities and lead by example, but also delegates allowing others to help out. She would come up with an agenda for our meeting, then set it up for the meeting, and then follow up as necessary. She was very dependable. Another extraordinary thing about Antu is that she's very creative. And I know that she's going to school for entrepreneurship and she should do very well. I'm excited to see what the future holds for her. The second student who's getting this award is Dime William. Once again, Dime was in our engineering principles and applications class during my first year of teaching. It was very common for him to be hanging around after school in my classroom, helping me to set up for demonstrations, labs, or projects that were coming up in our class. He was also part of a team that helped to accessorize my classroom, such as building shelves, to help the classroom flow more smoothly. 
He has been involved with our engineering club, which stresses the use of the engineering design process to solve large problems. Dime has also been my teacher's aide this past year and has been instrumental in doing research as well as building various projects to see how appropriate they were for the class. It has been an honor and privilege for me to get to know Dime over the last four years. And as he goes on to school to learn about engineering, I'm very excited to see what the future has in store for him. So congratulations to both of you, and I look forward to what the future holds and stay in touch. The class of 2020 is filled with bright, inquisitive minds. And some of these minds belong to students who are highly creative and talented writers, students who are capable of insightful analysis of literature, and students who simply love to read. The English department would like to recognize three stellar students this year. Our first ever Literary Luminary Award goes to Mofian Folua Tunji Ekundayo, an avid reader of all literature, an engaged participant in class, and a strong writer who always works to improve her writing and is not afraid to take risks. All year, Fien has been reading, 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 and not just the texts assigned by her English teacher and not just the latest YA novel. Fien reads everything, and she has been working her way through the classics and works of high literary merit on her own, whether it be Edward Albee's Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf or Isabel Allende's The House of Spirits. Fien is the perfect recipient for the English department's first Literary Luminary Award. Congratulations, Fien. Next, our award for academic distinction goes to Elena Radner, an insightful thinker who is intrinsically interested in literature and an impressive analytic writer who can craft compelling arguments. Elena's consistent success on written assignments as well as her recurrent meaningful contributions to class discussions illustrate her natural proclivity for ELA activities and prove she's a worthy recipient of this award. Congratulations, Elena. Last, the English Department Award for Outstanding Performance goes to Akia Ose, a student who exhibits wide ranging intellectual curiosity and demonstrates highly perceptive analysis. Aquia is sneaky. She quietly takes in everything and then impresses you with the insights in her writing and the application of all that has been taught in class. Aquia's remarkable performance in English proves she is the right recipient for this award. Congratulations, Aquia. Good luck, seniors. We'll miss you in our English department. It is my pleasure to present the Outstanding Achievement in Calculus Award. There are several worthy candidates at Western. This was a very difficult decision um, as some of the teachers in the department here kicked around in a bunch of different names and there's a list of students that have easily could have gotten this award. There's so many high flyers in calculus. Um, but we are going to end up giving this award to Nia Sanderson. Congratulations, Nia. Um, Nia started freshman year in honors trig and didn't take long to realize she was misplaced. Nia realized that she wanted a more challenging course load. So over the summer, she took college algebra at CCBC and came back as a sophomore in AP Calc AB with uh, the highly regarded Christian T. Miller. And that first week, Mr. Miller was like, hey, a sophomore in here, not real sure. I said, oh, you're, she's golden, gonna be a lock. And then after that first unit exam, he came back and said, you're right, she's, she's great. And, uh, you know, hit the ground running and has continued in that same trajectory throughout. Even though she was in a class with students in the grades above her, she was consistently at the top of the class, earned all A's, all those quarters, and uh, fives on both exams. So, Nia, congratulations, a wonderful calculus student. Congratulations to Elena Radner, this year's Statistics Student of the Year. Elena is a hard worker who is determined to truly understand each concept in the course. Instead of memorizing templates or buzzwords, Elena concerns herself with true understanding, 
so she could interpret and explain in various ways based on knowledge rather than mere repetition. In addition to this, Elena is relentless in her approach to improving her understanding. She always comes to class prepared with relevant and well thought out questions. These questions being posed from various angles kept me as a teacher on my toes and helped move the class forward. Elena also took advantage of all the resources available to her to make sure that she was prepared for each class. Her preparation is second to none, which is key for this course. I would like to congratulate Elena Radner for winning this year's Statistics Students of the Year. Well earned. This award is for best overall mathematics student. This award is the mathematics department's highest honor. The award is designed not only to recognize the highest achievement in mathematics courses, but also to acknowledge a student who is passionate about learning mathematics. This award is designed for a student who enjoys the struggle and someone who is eager to share what they have learned and understand with others. Sure, this year's student earned a five on the AP calculus exam as a sophomore and earned a five on the BC calculus exam as a junior, but this student is more than a student with outstanding scores. This student is on a quest for knowledge and is eager to learn so he can make positive contributions to our world. He has taken every AP math, physics, and computer science course we offer, earning fives on all of them before completing his junior year. As a high school senior, he has taken discrete mathematics and linear algebra at local community college and has also taken calculus three and differential equations at Johns Hopkins University, all with great success and enjoying these courses, much like an average student would enjoy rides at an amusement park. This student enthusiastically takes on all of these challenges for the sheer joy of solving the problem, cracking the code, or conquering the task. More impressive than his performance in the classroom is his personality and level of maturity. He is humble and kind. He works extremely well with his peers and underclassmen sharing his passion for mathematics. He requested that I sponsor a math club so that he could teach and share students many of the concepts and ideas he learned from his discrete mathematics course and his other courses. He is an engaging speaker and makes math accessible and fun for students in the group. Since the inception of the group, he has been able to build different teams of students and compete in mathematics competitions in our state and online. All of the teachers in the mathematics department agreed on our selection for this award and Mr. Jett's comments are shared by everyone who had the pleasure of working with this student. Mr. Jett said, he was the best mathematics student I ever had, pushed me to know my stuff and to look up stuff beyond the curriculum that I didn't know, pushed me to be a better teacher. Certainly he deserves the overall mathematics student award. I couldn't agree more. This year's best overall mathematics student is Abdullah Schwab. Hi, this is Mrs. Carlino, and I'm extremely pleased to present the Outstanding Overall Music Student Award to Mackenzie Pearson. Mackenzie has been enrolled in at least one music class for each of her years here. She was an incredible asset to our choir for three years, displaying exceptional leadership and sharing the gift of her voice and unique talent known as perfect pitch. Mackenzie was also a piano student here for two years. In her classes, she consistently strove to apply all of her musical knowledge and skills to learn many new pieces efficiently and independently. In addition to her musical abilities and leadership skills, Mackenzie has displayed excellent character. She was always willing to help both teachers and peers in any ways needed. Mackenzie, thank you for the wonderful asset you have been to the music program here at Western Tech. You will be missed. Greetings. I am Ms. Lewis, the advisor for the National Honor Society. The National Honor Society has been very active this year, having volunteered at the Autism Speaks Walk, volunteered at the Jingle Bell Run for Arthritis, provided tutoring to Western Tech students, volunteered at Our Daily Bread Soup Kitchen, supported the Juvenile Diabetes Research Fund, and more. I am fortunate to work with many very enthusiastic students dedicated to service, but one student stands out this year as one who truly exemplifies selfless service. Whenever I needed someone to step up, Fiend volunteered. And she did not wait to be asked. She often would take it upon herself to investigate volunteer opportunities and share them with the rest of the society. 
In addition, Fien took on a leadership role that required organization and routine communication with the other NHS members, a role she fulfilled impressively. Furthermore, Fien was a tutoring guru. When I had trouble filling a particular lunch shift, she gave up her lunch three days every week rather than once every other week to offer assistance to her peers. Her selflessness and enthusiasm are just two qualities that make me glad I've gotten to know this special young woman and affirm to me that she will be very successful in her future endeavors. I am pleased to recognize Mofin Falua Tunje Ekendeo, the recipient of this year's NHS Service Award. Congratulations, Fien. I will miss you. Good luck at the University of Richmond. Congratulations, Ali Smith, on the Outstanding PE Student Award. You were an excellent PE leader this year. You were always quick to jump in and work with students on perfecting techniques or skills for gameplay or even be on a team that was shorthanded. You could always be counted on to get activities set up and cleaned up. Your leadership will be missed and we wish you all the best in the next chapter of your life. Thank you so much for your hard work and again, congratulations. This year's Environmental Science Award goes to a student that has worked very hard all four years at Western. She was always engaged with class topics, asked insightful questions, and would often bring up material from her previous classes, showing her deep understanding for the interconnectedness of science and especially environmental science. I had the privilege to teach her last year, and she was a focused student that was comfortable taking on a leadership role when part of a group, but she was also always willing to assist a struggling classmate. She enjoyed and excelled at hands-on laboratory work, and of course, she has a true passion for the environment. We look forward to the positive impact she will no doubt have on our natural world. We wish her the best as she continues on to Stony Brook University, where she will be studying marine biology. This year's Environmental Science Award goes to Elena Radner. Congratulations, TJ, on winning the Science Award this year. You have been such an amazing science student this year in AP Biology. You've exceeded my expectations. Um, I wish you much success as you continue on to Harvard, studying oh. neuroscience with um, an anticipated goal of something in the health field, whether it be pre-med or something else that you find along your journey. Good luck, TJ, and congratulations. And the award for outstanding performance in social studies goes to Abdullah. This young man is admired by his fellow peers as well as his teachers. I never had the pleasure of teaching Abdullah, but I have gotten to know him over the last two years through my husband, Mr. Streets, and my office mate, Mr. Carlino. Abdullah is wise beyond his years. While he is always willing to participate in class, he is an even better listener. He understands history on a local, national, and global level due to his ability to think critically. According to Mr. Richmond, Abdullah is a brilliant student who would sometimes even teach Mr. Richmond information. If you know Mr. Lagon, you know it is very difficult to get praise from him, but he believes that Abdullah is one of the best students he has ever taught because Abdullah is intelligent, diligent, creative, and goes above and beyond. According to Mr. Dobmeyer, Abdullah is one of the most conscientious students he has ever taught. He believes the most impressive thing about Abdullah is his humility. He is exceptionally smart, but he never acts like he's above anyone else. He's going to accomplish great things that will benefit our society. The social studies department wishes Abdullah much success in the future. The sky's the limit. Best wishes, stay in touch, stay healthy and safe, and good luck next year in college. It is my pleasure to present the award for outstanding performance in theater to our actors, Elena, Mia, Acel, and Helena. Congratulations and outstanding performance in technical theater to Fallon. Thank you for all you did to help us create this year. We wish you the best of luck in the future. Bonjour, uh, ici c'est Monsieur Olive et je présente la reconnaissance des élèves en français pour leur service et le progrès en cours. Fin Tunji Kondayo et Islamia Ena, brava les filles, félicitations, je suis fier de vous. Muy buenas tardes. Me llamo Profesor Ruth. Soy el jefe de la Facultad de las Lenguas Extranjeras de Western. Por su excelencia académica en los cursos de español, quisiera 
presentarle este premio de la Facultad de las Lenguas Extranjeras de Western a dos alumnas salientes, Jackie Álvarez Hernández y Jaminat Adekoya. ¡Felicidades! And finally this afternoon, I would like to distribute an award that recognizes a senior's high level of proficiency in listening, speaking, reading, and writing in one or more languages other than English. The Maryland Seal of Biliteracy is being awarded here at Western Tech to the following students who earned a four or five on the AP test. First, in Spanish, Jaminat Adecoya, Jacqueline Alvarez Hernandez, Jose Romero, and Daniel Humana. Felicitaciones! And the seal of biliteracy in French is being awarded to Abdallah Watara. Felicitations! The 2020 Academy of Health Professions Outstanding Student Awards go to Farzona and Avita. You ladies truly make each of us very proud. You seek ways to continue your education and always look for ways to help give back to your community. We wish you all the best. I would like to congratulate and honor Senior Savannah Gamber for her hard work in the automotive service technology magnet at Western Tech. Savannah has been an outstanding student since her freshman year. She always took pride in the work that she did, both in the shop, in the classroom, and at home. Savannah is an easy choice for this award because of all of her hard work and her long volunteer hours for our auto service technology program. Congratulations, Savannah. I am extremely pleased and proud to announce the outstanding cosmetology students of our senior class. Karen Arqueta, Maya Britton, Susan Din, Brea Graves, Andrea Lemon, Kayla Mings, Morgan Russell, and Shamise Smith. We congratulate these young ladies for obtaining their cosmetology license before graduating from high school. What an, a wonderful accomplishment. We are extremely proud of you and all of the hard work that you have put into your program. Congratulations. The outstanding culinary arts student is a great team player, has an outstanding work ethic, and volunteers for every catered event. They are conscientious, hardworking, and take their culinary duties very seriously. I'm proud to award this year's Outstanding Culinary Arts student, Tanaya Harris. Hi, Peria. Congratulations. You were selected the Outstanding Environmental Technology student. I want to thank you for all the things that you've done for the program, and I wish you all the luck in the future. Amani, I just want to congratulate you for your award as the Graphic Print Student of 2020. Um, I'm going to read a letter that I wrote for your nomination for this award. I'm writing on behalf of my student, Amani Neal, whom I've had the pleasure of teaching in my graphic print communications magnet class. She is currently in an internship at the NSA using her graphic design skills. Imani's genuine talent for visual arts and graphic design was obvious since her freshman year. And during her three, three years in my class, she showed significant growth. Imani has a strong sense of composition, layout, excellent rendering skills, and a proficient level of the Adobe Creative software. She has a tenacious worth ethic, sets high standards, receives critical feedback well, and takes initiative to learn new things. She is a top performing student in her graphic print communications magnet, where her creative designs have been published in various documents, brochures, posters, and flyers for our school. Amani is quite a leader, one who sets 
a good example for others in the way that she interacts with her peers and her teachers, as well as she continually strives to learn new things and applies herself diligently to any task. Her skill level is amongst the top in her class, but she never seeks to be the center of attention nor misses an opportunity to help other students if they need it. She's a team player, an eager learner, an intelligent and mature young lady who's, who is a delight to have in my classroom. It is with my great confidence that I nominate Amani Neal for Outstanding Graphic Print Communication Senior Award. I have no doubt that she will thrive in college and in career where her creative insight and worth ethic, skill, and care personality will be a tremendous asset. I just want to congratulate you, Amani, for all your hard work. Um, it's a delight to teach you, and I know you're going to do great things in college and in career, and I hope that you come back to the school just to, to let me know how well you're doing, because I know you're going to do great things. I am honored to present the Outstanding Performance in Information Technology Networking to senior Aquia Ose. Aquia is an incredibly hardworking young lady who has excelled in her magnet as well as in all of her other courses, many of which are advanced placement courses. Just this year during her senior year while we were in school, Aquia was a member of the help desk at Western Tech. She helped teachers, staff members, and students with computer problems to try to pinpoint what the issues were and to help with the resolution. Congratulations, Aquia. I'm pleased to share some remarks offered by the IT programming teacher, Mr. Gregory Foster. We've had some great students come through the IT computer science programming magnet at Western Tech. Four of the last 10 valedictorians have been from the IT magnet. We've had some really nice students who were kind and involved in the community. But I think that Abdullah Schwab may be the best ever. He's brilliant, kind, and caring, and that is why he is the outstanding IT programming senior. Abdullah's had great success academically in the magnet. He even taught himself an additional programming language, Python, and he earned a certification from Microsoft. He was successful in all of his other classes and even completed college work at CCBC and Johns Hopkins while attending Western Tech. Abdullah applied his skills and was successful in competitions. He won the gold medal for Skills USA in computer programming three times and went to the national championships in Louisville three years in a row. He was part of teams of IT students that went to the University of Maryland programming contest as well as a programming contest at Northrop Grumman. Even with all of his successes, some of my fondest memories of Abdullah are of him helping others. During this year, when he wasn't leaving early to take college classes, he hung out in the programming magnet. He helped us set up a 3D printer and helped students print 3D objects. He also answered questions for students about programming in all of my courses. One day while I was teaching AP Computer Science, I was explaining how many of the concepts are related. I mentioned inheritance and abstract classes and how they are often questions on job interviews for programmers. Abdullah walked over and quietly mentioned to me that those topics aren't tested on this year's AP Computer Science exam. I actually did know that, but it just shows what I mean about Abdullah. He's brilliant. He knew about the AP Computer Science exam even though he wasn't taking the course this year. He was concerned that I might have said something that I shouldn't have in class, yet didn't want to draw attention to it. Abdullah is an outstanding student and an even better person. He will be missed. I am sure he will do great things everywhere he goes. Congratulations, Abdullah. We would like to congratulate and honor three special young men for their continued achievements while attending Western Tech's mechanical construction and plumbing program. Anthony Catalano, Jalen Green, and Kai Smith were able to complete their OSHA 10 training American Heart Association Heart Saver First Aid, CPR and AED Certification, Maryland Occupational Safety and Health Certification, and their Plumbing and Gas Fitting First Year Apprenticeship. 
Anthony, Jalen, and Kai all participated in the Western Tech Work-Based Learning Program in conjunction with ABC of Baltimore. While simultaneously, they completed their high school graduation requirements. They now plan to enter the second year of their apprenticeship program and plumbing school at ABC of Baltimore while working in the plumbing field to attain their journeyman's and master plumbing and gas fitters license. We are so proud of you, Anthony, Jalen, and Kai. As you take your next steps, remember, the sky is the limit. Congratulations. I am pleased to recognize some of our seniors for their participation in Western Tech's internship program, where they have chosen to obtain paid or unpaid jobs within the community where they were able to utilize the skills that they've learned in their magnet program over the past few years. Islamia Aina, Business, Management, and Finance, Adina Bala, the Academy of Health Professions, Helena Edwards, the Academy of Health Professions, Esmeralda Escamilla, Academy of Health Professions, Leah Gordon, Graphic Print Communications, Jalen Green and Charles Greenwood, Plumbing Mechanical Construction, Shania Hilton, Culinary Arts, Peter Jokey, Automotive Technology, Mohammed Mustafa, Environmental Science, Chakubuke Okwize, IT Networking, Imani Neal, Graphic Print Communications, Ola Tomiwa Abagande, uh, Academy of Health Professions, Akwia Ose, IT Networking, Isabel Paul, Business, Finance and Management, Omer Sharif, Academy of Health Professions, Evita Tejano, Academy of Health Professions, Fien Tunji Ekondayo, Business, Management and Finance, and Hao Nan Zhang, Business, Management and Finance. Congratulations to these seniors for the hard work that they have put in this year in the internship program for Western Tech. Peter, on behalf of the Baltimore County Public Schools Career and Technical Education Office and Western Tech, I would like to congratulate you for being selected as the overall winner for the Anthony G. Marcioni Award for Excellence in CTE. The awards and scholarship committee members worked very hard to make this selection. There were many impressive cover letters, resumes, letters of recommendation, and achievements. That made this year's selection particularly difficult. You stood out as a true CTE leader and an exceptional CTE student. We are all very proud of your accomplishments and we wish you continued success as you take the next steps in your education at UMBC in the fall. Best wishes. I'm pleased to offer some remarks given by the Skills USA teacher sponsor, Mr. Foster. TJ Tanimi Barod is a senior from the Academy of Health Professions Magnet. She's being recognized as an outstanding member for the Western Tech chapter of Skills USA for her work within her magnet, her work with Skills USA throughout the school, and her success at competitions. During her senior year, TJ did, did return to school and work with Ms. Borrego in the AHP classes. Throughout her time at Western Tech, she was an active member of Skills USA, helping with fundraisers. As a junior, she entered the Health Professions Portfolio Competition and won a gold medal at the state competition in April 2019. That summer, she traveled to Louisville, Kentucky, and participated in the Skills USA National Leadership and Skills Conference, where she presented her professional portfolio. TJ earned a National Bronze Medal, finishing third out of all the Skills USA members from all 50 states. Congratulations, TJ for being an outstanding Skills USA member. I would also like to recognize Abdullah Schwabe, who won the Skills USA Maryland State Programming Championship as a ninth grader. That was impressive, but he turned around and did it again in 10th and 11th grade. That's amazing. 
Each of those three years, he went to Louisville, Kentucky, and competed at the Skills USA National Leadership and Skills Conference, where he finished in the top 20 nationally for computer programming. Abdullah was an active member of Skills USA here at Western Tech throughout his four years. He helped with fundraising and contacted companies for donations and support. Abdullah helped to lead meetings and encourage students to participate in competitions. So I would also like to recognize him as an outstanding member of the Western Tech chapter of Skills USA. Congratulations, Abdullah, and congratulations to TJ. The Shapiro Scholarship is awarded to students who are passionate about all things culinary and pursuing a career in the hospitality industry. Awardees demonstrate a dedication to their craft, perseverance in times of trial, and a strong work ethic to become the new leaders of our industry. This year, I'm proud to give the Shapiro Scholarship to Ashana Boykins, Taryn Cook, Shania Hilton, and Chandrea Shan. I am pleased to recognize Peter Jokey as our school's ethics award recipient. Peter is an impressive young man. He is mature, engaging, and possesses a can-do attitude. He takes his studies seriously while being active in sports, clubs, community service, and scouts. Staff and peers respect him due to his calm demeanor, active listening, and the way he treats everyone with respect. As captain of his athletic teams, he motivates his teammates on and off the field with words of encouragement. In the summer stretch program, he leads middle school children in service projects with a purpose to show them how their work makes an impact. In his automotive internship, he has proven himself to be competent, responsible, and respectful to customers. For his Eagle Scout project, he created learning stations on an outdoor trail where people may go to meditate. Through his words and actions, one can see that Peter leads by example. He takes responsibility for his actions and always puts forth his best effort to accomplish his goals and to help others. His quiet confidence will serve him well in the future. Congratulations, Peter. I am extremely pleased to recognize Jacqueline Alvarez Hernandez as the Principal's Character Award recipient. Jackie is one of the hardest working and caring students at Western Tech. Since her enrollment in our Academy of Health Professions program, Jackie's grades and attitude have been excellent. Jackie is someone that I admire greatly. She is very intelligent, kind, hardworking, and humble. She has a quiet presence about her, but she is always willing to assist someone in need. This year, Jackie was instrumental in supporting one of our freshman students who was struggling with the workload associated with her classes. Jackie immediately jumped in and helped the student with multiple tasks. In the end, Jackie helped this young lady with more than her classwork. Jackie became a true friend who always looked out for this young lady. Jackie's strong work ethic, intelligence, kindness, and empathy for others will serve her well in her bright future. Congratulations, Jackie.